It is an honor to see justice served, and I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the trial. <laughs> You are Feareth Me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Of course, Your Honor. Feareth Me, what did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway, after hearing the blaster shot, and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. <laughs> Yes, from what I could tell, she carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
you're Paul the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sonri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? This is clear then, that Sonri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. Don't do it, Lupo. Lies! Slander! I object! You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. <laughs> Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. <laughs> He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. <laughs> I wish to call forth Sunri himself, Your Honours. Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunri? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. 
Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them! Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alassa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. He's gone. Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, given his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. a thing. He was there, running from the room. Yeah. 
No, your honors. I demand the death penalty. I don't believe this. I mean, Sunri should be remembered as a hero, not as a murderer. That isn't right. <laughs> Yeah, 